the South Bay Salt Pond Restoration Project is one of the largest wetland restoration projects in the United States. San Francisco Bay is a very important estuary ecologically, and unfortunately we've lost 85 to 90 percent of our tidal marshes due to human interactions with the bay. So there are two endemic species in the San Francisco Bay estuary. The first one is the California clapper rail, now known as the ridge rays rail. The second endangered species is called the salt marsh harvest mouse. Both of these species are endangered due to habitat loss um, in the San Francisco Bay estuary. What we have behind us are salt ponds in production that are owned in fee by the federal government as part of the Don Edwards San Francisco Bay National Wildlife Refuge that we retain a right to continue to make salt on. And there's about 8,000 acres of those ponds that we operate on. The remaining properties, the other roughly 32,000 acres uh, have been conveyed in fee and in rights to both the state and federal governments for ecological use. Annually, about one million shorebirds and over half of the waterfowl, like ducks, that use the Pacific Flyway, so millions and millions of birds, stop here in the San Francisco Bay estuary. The San Francisco Bay Bird Observatory has been working closely with the South Bay Salt Pond Restoration Project for several years now. Our main role is to provide scientific information on the numbers of birds and the different types of birds that are using each of the ponds and to help anticipate and plan for restoration activities that will provide the maximal benefit to birds in the estuary. What you're seeing here right off of this trail, this narrow strip of vegetated area, this is the tidal wetlands of San Francisco Bay. This is about all that's left, but this is pretty typical of a tidal marsh in San Francisco Bay. Beyond that is a former industrial salt pond. These are the areas we want to bring the tides and the mud and the plants back to and restore this tidal marsh habitat to this whole area. By not protecting the little bit of tidal marsh habitat that we have left, we run the risk of losing not only this habitat and this species, but also a lot of ecological services that this habitat provides. A lot of development has occurred in San Mateo and Santa Clara County, right along the edge of the bay, and these areas are at risk for sea level rise. There's lots of ways for you to get involved with the South Bay Salt Pond Restoration Project. We have volunteer events from school kids up to corporate events, anything you want in between. Uh, if you'd like more information, you can go to our Facebook page at South Bay Restoration or our website at southbayrestoration.org.